Hi, I'm Mary Colbert. Welcome to Dr. Colbert's podcast, Divine Health. That is what we want to bring to you is God's divine health. Today, Don, you're going to be talking about something you said earlier that you've had so many people request this. Yes, Mary, this is osteoarthritis, especially of the knees. Now, it also involves arthritis, osteoarthritis of all joints, but especially the knees. The most common joint being affected by arthritis are the knee joints. And I see this almost every day in my practice, and people are just expecting it. They're anticipating their arthritis. They're welcoming their arthritis because their mom had it, their grandma, their dad, their grandfather had it, and all their siblings have it, and they've already had their 50, their siblings, their parents have already had their knee replacements or their hip replacements, and they're saying, well, just a matter of time till I have mine. And they come in saying, I'm having a lot of aches and pains in my knees. Take an x-ray. They, it shows arthritis in the knees. It's not quite bone on bone, so they're just waiting to have their knee replacement. But when they come in, Mary, typically they're at least 50 to 100 pounds overweight. And I explained to them that their frame was not meant to carry this much weight. Just the weight alone is creating so much of a burden on their knees and their hips and their spine that they are signing up for osteoarthritis. The weight is one of the key reasons why people are getting osteoarthritis. Now, what is osteoarthritis? It's the most common form of arthritis. It's a degenerative wear and tear type of arthritis. That means most often people in their 50s or older start to develop it. In osteoarthritis, the cartilage in the knee joint gradually just wears away, and eventually they have bone-on-bone and severe pain Mm. and degeneration and deformity eventually follows. We can prevent that in the vast majority, and there's simple things we can do. Mary, I cannot tell you how many hundreds, if not thousands of patients that I've seen that were going to have a knee replacement, and they come to see me, and they said, I heard that you've helped my friend or my family member, and you saved their knees. They were scheduled for knee surgery to have a knee replacement. Then they went online, and they saw a knee replacement. I encourage people, if, if, you're, if you're going to have a knee replacement, go look at a YouTube video on how it's formed, how it's done. And you're going to, I guarantee you're going to say, I'm going to try and save my knees, okay? Because generally, those people have to have it again 10 to 15 years later. And oh, again, wow. 10 to 15 years later. Oh, wow. And those surgeries carry major risk. I thought risk. it was once you've had it done, it's done Not at all. Once, oh, and those geez. surgeries carry risk, like a stroke aye, aye, or uh, other problems, infections. There's horrible I thought when risk. they gave you a bionic knee, it was forever. Not <laughs> at all. They wear out and they have to be replaced. Oh, but again, geez. we have things that we can do. Number one, weight loss. When a person loses weight and unburdens that knee joint or that hip joint or the back, the body usually starts to improve. Just imagine when you walk or when you run on the knee, you have usually 10 times your weight coming down on that knee with every time you run. Runners tend to get more osteoarthritis of their knees. For you marathon runners, and I've seen so many That when they're young, they're doing great. When they get to be 60, they come and they say, wow, why didn't you tell me I was going to have arthritis? They're riddled with arthritis. That's why I quit running years ago because you you told me, you said, Mary, I was a runner, loved being a runner. And you said, Mary, I'm just telling you. I know you love running, but you're going to pay the price later as you yeah, get older. Because, exactly. And I, and I just started fast-paced walking or elliptical or on the bicycle, and I'm so glad I did. There's so many runners that have worn out their knees and yeah. their hips. They say, but they're normal weight. I don't care. It's that force. You're bringing 10 times at least your weight down on that knee, and you're wearing that cartilage out. So if you're a runner, switch over to cycling. I personally do recumbent bike cycling, high-intensity interval training. Love it. And also you can do elliptical machine or walking. Walking's fine. It's joint-friendly as long as it's not hurting. If you're walking and you're 350 pounds, no. Get a recumbent bike and pedal or pool exercise. You're not going to lose weight with pool exercises, but you will with a recumbent You'll bike or fun. elliptical. <laughs> You'll have fun. You'll be sitting there kicking and splashing, getting wet, but you're not going to sweat. All your other you're ladies, not going to sweat. <laughs> I, look, I look and see the people in the pool, and 
Usually they're <laughs> they're laughing, very, floating around, <laughs> floating around. They're usually very heavy. But you know what? I'm thinking they're, they're belly having, laughing. They're belly laughing, having a good time. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, uh, cycling is important, and I would say probably the best exercise for your knees is cycling. And when you cycle, especially recumbent bike, and again, you want to start out and you want to get your heart rate up about a hundred. 20 typically and eventually now I'll, I'll do high intensity training while I'll go up to 150 but don't start out with that just start out and just increase the tension where you get your heart rate up to about 115 120 for about 20 to 30 minutes but start out five or ten minutes and gradually work up if you can do this five days a week and some people six days when you are cycling you are literally pumping synovial fluid bathing that cartilage with nutrients that help to restore it, especially when you go into our nutritional program. You're lubricating those joints. You see those joints, that cartilage is about, is real, is composed 80% of water. And so we want to lubricate our joints with these nutrients that I'm going to tell you about. And also you want to drink plenty of water. And as you're exercising, cycling, your body will literally start to shave off those old degenerated cells and you'll start growing new cells there once you take these nutrients I'm going to tell you about. Okay, but the exercise is important because as you exercise, it's amazing how the joint pain start to go away, especially with cycling. Now, at first, you may have a little. Just stay with it. And with, with the supplements, they'll start to go away. I hear this all the time. At first, they say, oh, Dr. Colbert, I was in such pain of initially. I say, just slow down. Just keep doing it. Stay five minutes, maybe the first week, then go up maybe the second week up to 10, then the third week to 15. Try and get up to that 20 to 30-minute sweet spot. And as you do this and as you take these supplements and keep exercising, drinking your alkaline water, the joints will start to heal. As you, and you'll also be losing weight. Now, here are the supplements you need to get, the key nutrients. The glucosamine, chondroitin, and NMSM. And we have a supplement in our office called Synovix, S-Y-N-O-V-X. It has all three ingredients. And we typically put patients on two twice a day. Now, let's just talk about some of the studies of these nutrients. And these nutrients have been studied, and they find that they, especially glucosamine sulfate, given a daily dose of 1,500 milligrams, is able to significantly reduce the symptoms of osteoarthritis in the lower extremities, especially in the knees. And it also prevents the joint space narrowing observed in the knees. And it also, the effect of it, translated into a 50% reduction in the inc incidence of osteoarthritis-related surgery of the knees during a five-year program, according to a study. And now, this is amazing. You hear that, a 50% reduction in knee replacements by taking glucosamine. But I find if you combine these, glucosamine sulfate with chondroitin sulfate, with MSM, and you take at least two twice a day. Now, if you're real heavy, you're going to probably need three twice a day. That's one of the key nutrients you need for the knees. It's amazing how it helps the knees. Now, another supplement that helps the knees is cherry juice. Now, what's interesting is cherry juice. Now, again, I tell people don't have the juice too much sugar. Use the ter cherry fruit extract. And all these are on Amazon or on right. different health food stores. Because there's no Sell sugar. There's yeah. no sugar in the cherry fruit extract. I take that every day. And well, I take two. I take three twice a day. You can take two, okay. but I take three. And what they found is that in arthritis patients with mild to moderate osteoarthritis of the knees, a study have found that tart cherry juice or the cherry fruit extract provided symptom relief. This effect was, uh, was not significantly greater than placebo, but it says it did lower the HSCRP, or the inflammatory mediator levels, and this effect was associated with improved WOMAC scores, which is the Western Ontario McMaster Osteoarthritis Index. So their scores improved. And the cherry fruit with the glucosamine seems to be synergistic. Mm -hmm. The other major one I find is curcumin boswellia. Now, I, I love these two herbs. Curcumin is curry or turmeric, same thing, and boswellia is frankincense. Well, it just so happens when you combine these two herbs together, they make a powerful anti-inflammatory combination that decreases inflammation throughout your body, but especially in the knees. 
And you say, well, what studies do you have? The results of this one study found that curcumoids and boswellia could be a valuable addition to the knee osteoarthritis treatment regimens by releasing symptoms while reducing safety risk. And the, another study found that the boswellia, all patients in this one study, 30 patients with osteoarthritis, uh, 50 received either the boswellia or 50% of them received either one or the other. Uh, so again, so the 15 that received the boswellia, it found that all the patients that received boswellia reported a decrease in knee pain, increased knee flexion, and increased walking distance. And so again, when combined with uh, curcumin, I found it's even better. And the other herb that helps a lot of patients, and again, you, some people just start with the glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM. Some will go ahead and add the uh, cherry extract to it, and some will add the turmeric or the curcumin with the boswelli. But another herb that's a really beneficial is ginger, and I know how much you love ginger. Mm -hmm. The results of this study found that a combination of turmeric and black pepper and ginger versus the medication naproxen, which is an, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicine for chronic arthritis, the results of the study indicated that the intake of those herbs, those three herbs, black pepper, turmeric or curcumin, with ginger, that those twice a day for four weeks improved prostaglandin levels in patients with chronic knee osteoarthritis similar to the drug naproxen. Wow. Without the side effects. Naproxen has all these side effects of GI ulcers, gastritis, uh, decreased and blood flow of the kidneys. And how easy is that to survive? I mean, that is an easy cure. Wow. Well, all these herbs are anti-inflammatory, and they generally have no side effects, Mary. That's so cool. Now, especially I love that glucosamine. Some people with glucosamine chondroitin sulfate, it doesn't work well, and I have to reset the sulfur because it's a sulfur-based supplement. For some reason, some people don't do well with sulfur. And you say, well, what do I do? How do I know? You find a doctor or, a, or an acupuncturist that does N-A-E-T to reset the sulfur. And it's amazing how these supplements start working beautifully. I see that in a lot of arthritis sufferers, too. So if they've too. blown the switch in their like, body. Like COVID. COVID causes a sulfur. lot of people to... Yeah. And uh, they don't even know it. ...react to sulfur. And here's how you know. You'll usually have what we call COVID alopecia, where you lose lots of hair. That means uh, you, your sulfur is not working, your sulfur is aggravating your body, and we literally desense these patients to sulfur. And you find someone that knows how to do NAET, go to NAET.com. Now, the nutritional program is critical, the weight loss is critical, the cycling is critical, but also critical is water. Remember, your joints are made up 80% of water, so you need to be drinking water, but the best water for your joints is alkaline water. And so you don't need a whole lot, a half a quart to a quart a day, or you can get Alka-Seltzer Gold. Not Alka-Seltzer, but Alka-Seltzer Gold, G-O-L-D, on Amazon. And you take one little tab in water in the morning, four ounces of water, and one little tab in the afternoon, and it brings your urine pH up to a, a nice alkaline level so that your joints are at that healthy, balanced pH. And there's things that you can do to help bring up your alkaline levels, too, like our Green Supreme Absolutely. Food. Green Supreme is wonderful. Our Green Supreme wonderful. is a wonderful product that you can take in a smoothie and a drink, and it helps raise. Now, I have to put a disclaimer in here that... For the alkaline water, do not drink alkaline water with your food exactly. when you're eating. Exactly right. Very it good. It will mess up your digestion. digestion. And a lot of people are doing that. You want to take that between meals. Right. And the same with your Alka-Seltzer Gold. Don't take Alka-Seltzer Gold and go and eat your meal or it's going to mess up your digestion. Just like It's like starting a fire and pouring water on your fire right. of digestion. And again, our... Green Supreme Food, as well as our, our Red Supreme Food, mm -hmm. the Green Supreme Food contains these powerful green veggies and superfoods, with a pea, including wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa, uh, spirulina, chlorella. These have a pH value of 9.4, mm. and so they bring your pH up beautifully. Now, another thing you can do if you have severe arthritis in your knees, there's a wonderful little knee sleeve that contains carbon and germanium. And for some people, these are absolutely amazing 
until they get their inflammation under control. And you can go order those on any, uh, you can just Google Incrediware, I-N-C-R-E-D-I-W-E-A-R, knee sleeve. And some people use CopperFit, but most people prefer the Incrediware knee sleeve. And just put it over your knees like a little stocking, and it just really helps with the pain for chronic arthritis of the knee for a lot of my patients. Another thing that helps tremendously, we've been doing for years, is stem cells with PRP. And we inject stem cells and platelet-rich plasma into the knee, and it helps some people. But I find if they're taking the nutrition, doing the diet, and the diet I'm going to talk about in just a second is absolutely critical. If you're not doing the diet and taking the nutrients, do not do the stem cells and PRP until you're doing it. Because it's amazing how once you get the body, the the pH normalized, once you take some supplements that can literally target the stem cells to the area, you get your body prepared for the stem cells with the nutritional program. And also the weight loss and the cycling is important. So again, stem cells with PRP have helped a lot of people. And then after the PRP, I, I have incredible knee sleeves I put on them afterwards. Now, the foods, there's foods that fuel arthritis. First, let's talk about the foods that prevent arthritis. It's real simple. And you want to talk about the patient that we saw that was our neighbor in our condo in Texas. You were working out in the gym, and you want to go ahead and tell that story? Oh, sure. Yeah. There was a guy, we have a place in Texas, and he's, uh, I could tell he had been a pro athlete because he was so tall and big. and Real muscular. Get, yeah, real muscular. And they're, you can just tell pro athletes, the way they just kind of stand out from the rest of the crowd. They're usually huge, right? And I went up to him, and he was struggling. He was struggling walking, and I, I just hurt watching him, uh, where he bow-legged almost, and just every step you could tell was just grinching and pain. And grimacing. I just, yeah. gr- grimacing, okay. Grinching. He was Grinch, grinching. Grin- now, I do have a Grinch blow-up at my house. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> okay. But I... I walked up to him, and which I do, you know, if I see someone suffering and I think we have an answer, I can't help it. I'm going to approach you and talk to you. So don't be offended if, if, uh, if I do that. I'm just trying to help. And so I went up to him and I said, look, my husband has answers for you. I said, I can see you're in pain. You really need to make an appointment to come see my husband. And he just looked shocked at me. And I said, I'm serious. This was about six months ago, would you say? It was this past summer. Okay. Yeah, it was during the summer. And so I, you know, he goes, what does he do? And I just began painting the picture to him. And he goes, okay, Mary. He goes, yeah, I'll do that. I will. I'll call and make an appointment. You've sold me. (laughs) And it's so funny because now today. Now, he was ready for a... Total knee replacement. Total knee replacement. Yeah. Both he knees, has yeah. told everybody he knows. We're slammed in Texas, in our office in Texas, because this guy has told everybody about what happened to him, and it was his wife's fault. She came up to me. Well, tell laughing. me. What happened? Tell me. Tell, tell the people what happened. I mean, he's out of pain. He's uh, walking without pain. He's just, uh, he's lost a lot of weight. He's on the anti-inflammatory diet. Before, he was eating foods that were inflaming him like crazy. And we wanted to discuss these foods. But the diet he started following is pretty much my Beyond Keto program. It's anti-inflammatory. Lots of olive oil, avocado oil, lots of healthy nuts like pecans. I'll eat a handful of pecans every night. Again, lots of healthy veggies. Veggies, salads are great. And healthy berries and things like we talked about. And again, cutting out the inflammatory foods. So let's talk about the foods that fuel arthritis. I call them the arthritis-fueling foods. Number one are fried foods. Now, Mary, you want to tell them about your example with fried foods years ago? A couple of years ago. A couple. It's about 10 or 20. Was it 10? Yeah. Okay. Just don't tell my age. And so, I didn't say your age. I know, but you're <laughs> hinting. So anyway, I, um, I had this middle finger that would just go, I mean, it was like somebody had slammed my finger in the door or something. It would just start hurting for no reason at all. Just all of a sudden, just pain in my joint of my 
big finger. And, oh, your middle finger. Yeah, my middle finger. And Don was like, okay, let's talk about what you ate today. Now, I remember we had a restaurant, and you ordered this potato on the restaurant, at the restaurant. I said, Mary, that's a fried potato. You said, no, it's not. And oh, you ate it. You know what it was? It, it's those potato skins. Yeah, potato skins. That's it. Oh, my gosh, are they good. <laughs> I love potato skins. And I warned you, I said, don't eat that potato, it's fried. And I said, no, Don, they bake it. He goes, "Uh, no, Mary, those are fried. (laughs) Deep fried. (laughs) And he goes, go ahead. And I mean, they come in a tray of like six or 12, I forget. (laughs) And she loved them. And I loved it. (laughs) And I ate, I think, every one. And so he, he was like, okay, you... You, you, you ate your kryptonite. Let's yeah, see when let's your see pain happened. barometer and will go sure off. sure enough, <laughs> that finger was on fire. What, was it an hour or two, I think, later? Yeah. And he goes, <laughs> there's remember, your sign. There's your, your sign. Remember skins you ate? <laughs> so I was like, whoa, that really is real. <laughs> you couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. So anyway, it's kind of become my... B- barometer. Barometer. Yeah. Of if I Your can't kryptonite eat, barometer. Yeah, I can't. I can't eat too much fried well, foods. Well, this, and, this, these foods inflame most everyone with osteoarthritis, and if you don't get rid of these or only rarely eat them, and if you do eat them, get your fire extinguishers ready. What are your fire extinguishers? Well, it's your Synovix, your collagen. Another major thing for your joints is our collagen. One scoop twice a day and, and water, or you can put it in coffee. But, you know, again, that collagen is the key thing that helps the cartilage. So the glucosamine conjoint and MSM, or, which is Synovix, our collagen, a scoop twice a day. Now, this big athlete that we treated with arthritis, he was so big that we put him on two scoops twice a day. And it's amazing how all these work together along with the curcumin and boswellia and the cherry fruit extract. Those are your supplements. Now, the foods that fuel it, number one, fried foods, especially French fries, fried potatoes, tortilla chips. Uh, You go to a Mexican restaurant. I just don't do fried foods anymore because I just don't want to be in pain. Right. To me, the pain gain thing, it's Uh, like, it's just not worth it. Exactly. Potato chips, they're Mm -hmm. fried. Don't do them You say, but they're baked. Well, still, uh, chips will affect a lot of people, especially uh, potato chips. Fried chicken, fried shrimp, fried catfish, anything deep fried, you are asking for pain. The next group of foods. And Don, let me just, if I could paint a picture real quick. What happens, God has made us fearfully and wonderfully. He has made us in such a way that it is amazing. And I like to use the analogy that he's built us similar to like your automobile. And your automobile has all these built-in sensors. So when the tire is low, a sensor comes on telling you your tire is low. Right. Or if your oil light is low, oil light comes on. Or if your engine's overheating, you know, the temperature comes up showing it's heating. So we have all these little built-in sensors that your automobile has. Or gauges, has. yeah, like and gauges. gauges. Well, God has built our body the same way. Right. You aren't supposed to be in pain. Right. You aren't supposed to hurt. You need to analyze, what am I doing that's inviting this pain? It's almost always what you're eating Eating. or your weight's too much. But what, and and we've said this on other podcasts, but it's true. It's, you know, you catch a cold, you catch the flu, you may catch COVID or catch something of a virus, but you develop disease. Disease, Especially arthritis, osteo. That's a choice disease. Right. You're developing something by making constantly, consistently the wrong food choice. Right. That is amazing to me. So if you've had these things, you did it to yourself. Now, don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you the truth. And we can almost always figure out the triggering foods or the foods that fuel your arthritis. Right. So if you go to a doctor, you get these pains. Doctor, I'm hurting here. This hurts. I, okay, here, just take this. Give your script, and out the door you do. What he just did is similar to, like, going into the, you know, to get your car fixed. And the guy goes, no problem. I'll take care of that. And he pulls your sensors to your well, tires. Yeah, or he, he pulls the, pull oil, the, fuse out. the fuse out to the oil. Me- me- are you okay? That red light the won't oil bother light. you yeah. anymore. You say, that oil light keeps coming on. Fix it. So he just unplugs the fuse, not fixing the problem, so you burn out the engine. And that's okay. what's happening, folks, with meds. 
Meds aren't getting to the root of the cause. They're masking the symptom of the problem. Do you understand? They're turning off the sensors. But the, the problem is going to continue. You know what happens? Just like your tire. If, the, if they pulled the tire sensor and you continue driving your tire low, because the sensor is telling you you, don't you blow need it. air. You don't get a flat. You just keep going. You know what happens? You, you're getting ready to blow your tire. And that's what happens with your knees. So when you get these pains, God has put these built-in sensors. And if you go get meds, Pain is good. Pain, pain is, is good. good. It's telling you to address the issue. It's saying the knees are requiring major attention right now. Let's get the weight off. Let's start doing cycling. Let's start some supplements to turn down and turn off the inflammation. Let's drink alkaline water, eat alkaline foods, do the Mediterranean keto diet to turn down the inflammation. And most important, what foods are fueling it? Well, these are the foods that fuel it. Number one are fried foods. And like I said, we talked about French fries and uh, corn chips or tortilla you can chips. You fried and, chicken. You just have to pull the fried skins Well, well off. even that we have to for a while because, yeah, you can eventually, once we get under control, do that, but not right away. You've got to cut out the fry, deep fried foods. Dairy. Dairy is inflammatory, and people think, oh, cheese is so good for you. Cheese is one of the key foods that fuel arthritis. Wow. And also, so does ice cream, and so does milk. And you say, well, I have cereal. I have some healthy, high-fiber cereal. Well, I'm telling you, it's the casein A1 in the dairy that's highly inflammatory for it. Not only does it create mucus in your sinuses, but it creates inflammation in your joints for most people. Now, again, goat milk and the feta cheese is not inflammatory, not nearly to the degree of regular cow's milk or cheese like the cheeses that we eat. So, again, that's a major trigger food for a lot of people. Nightshades are another. Nightshades are tomatoes and peppers and paprika, as well as eggplant and goji berries. And so tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, eggplant, paprika are the key nightshades, but, uh, but also ashwagandha, a common herb for stress, is a nightshade. And nightshades typically inflame the body. They really inflame the hands, but also they can aggravate the knees. You say, well, I love tomatoes. Well, cut them back, and eventually they contain lectins that can irritate and inflame your joints. So you just may have to cut them back for a while. If you love tomatoes, you're going to eventually peel the skins off, deseed them, and they won't hurt your joints. But again, we've got to be aware of these key foods. I just saw a patient two days ago, and he came from New Jersey, and he was having severe joint pains in his hands. Now, this guy had had all kinds of problems from celiac disease to horrible eczema. So we, we cut his wheat out, uh, years ago, cut his dairy out and cleared up his eczema. Skin was totally clear, had eczema all over. But now he came in with severe pains in his hands. And I analyzed his diet closely, and I saw one thing he started doing over the last six months since I'd seen him. He started eating dark chocolate a few times a day. And so I checked chocolate, and I discovered the chocolate was inflaming his hands. Mm. And so, again, for some of you people, too much of a good thing can actually create inflammation in your hands. It just so happens it was only affecting his fingers. And so um, once we stopped it, his again, we just checked on him. His fingers were doing much better. We put him on that cherry fruit extract, too. Put him on some of these key nutrients like the collagen. He'd been on the collagen. Collagen had helped him. But again, the cherry fruit is amazing for the fingers, arthritis in the fingers. But again, we want to identify those foods. We want to put anti-inflammatory foods. We want to put alkaline water, but not with your meals, and eat more alkaline food. Green veggies are full of minerals that alkalinize our bodies, create a pH that is anti-inflammatory for your bodies. So osteoarthritis is so easy to get under control. Before you close this out, though, Don, before you close this out, because this is in my head, for the people who have had their genetics, and they do their genetics, and their mom had the arthritis, the crippling arthritis. Okay. Oh, you're talking about rheumatoid? Rheumatoid. Oh, now, rheumatoid is totally different. That's autoimmune. You've got, it starts with a gut. That's why I wrote the book, Gut Zone. Okay, because I know people are thinking that. If you have people that. in your family with rheumatoid arthritis and you're headed that way, please get my book, okay. Gut Zone, because most 
everyone with autoimmune disease, it starts with a leaky gut. And that book, you start there, you heal the gut, and then we start to turn off the autoimmune triggers. And we have a whole program for that, but okay, so we're that not going to get into that no, today. That's okay, but I know because we're talking about arthritis, people may think that. and so Right, but shift. remember, too, a merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit, uh, a person who's down and out, depressed, a broken spirit dries the bones. You're literally inviting arthritis into your body. Activate the power of joy in your body by smiling, laughing, being full of joy. Rejoice in the Lord. It doesn't say sometimes. It says always. And it says, again, I say rejoice. And so it's not just sometimes. I believe that's Galatians. Is it 4-4? Four, four? But again, Paul was in prison when he wrote that. But we have to do it. We have to. It's an act of faith. And we need to rejoice Activate our joy by watching funny movies, listen to funny jokesters, and then just sharing this with others. And remember, be a kid. Kids on average laugh 400 times a day. Adults typically less than four times a day. But since COVID, I'd say even less. Activate the power of joy and protect your joints, okay? God bless you. And I hope this is helpful to you. And be sure to share our podcast and go to drcolbert.com and get a hold of our products, you know, the collagen. The collagen's and, very joint friendly. That I is, put most every patient on that, especially that for the joints. And our greens and our reds. And we have all kinds of things on there to help you, to assist you in we your health. We have our turmeric, too, on there. Turmeric, yes. That's one of our products, that's a, correct. That's one of ours. So, you know, help support what we do by becoming our partner. And when you buy products from us, you're partnering with Divine Health. We have a big vision for a lot of things ahead of us, and we appreciate our partners because without you, we just couldn't do it. Yeah, God, God bless, bless you. y'all. Thank, Thank you. you.